What happens when Bubble has downtime or an outage? What do you do about that? This is a fear that a lot of people have when they are using any platform to build their app on top of, and really we can generalize this. You know, we use a platform like YouTube to share these videos. Well, what happens when YouTube goes down? What do we tell all of our subscribers, right? Well, you can think about that with Bubble too. If you're building your app on Bubble and Bubble goes down, well, what do you tell all of your users? And really it's kind of the same across the board. If Bubble goes down, then chances are half of the internet is going down because Bubble uses Amazon Web Services. And so this is kind of just something that happens, right? You have experienced outages with services you use. I know we certainly do. And we don't freak out when it happens to us. And I think in general, users understand that outages just happen. Here are some of the things that you can do. So one, you can subscribe to Bubble status notifications specifically. So if Bubble does happen to go down, you can be notified immediately, and then you can carry that over to your users and notify them immediately. Because hearing from you that something is going on with the app is probably gonna be better than them logging in and not knowing what's going on when it's broken. So there's going to be a higher level of trust if you communicate this with your users. Now, second to that, the absolute best thing you can do is to actually just build a good app. <laughs> it, it sounds pretty simple because it is, but if you're building a really buggy, dysfunctional app, and then on top of that, your users experience an outage from time to time because Bubble has an outage, because AWS has an outage, you know, whatever it is, well, your, your users are gonna be less forgiving. But if your app performs well and works well for them, if you communicate with them and there is an occasional outage, at the end of the day, it's gonna be kind of common practice in the world we live in today.